this test is going to be looking at soil aggregate stability. That describes how well the soil crumbs, the soil particles, can hold themselves together, especially when they get wet. And this is really important because when soils are wet, they become quite weak. For this experiment, you'll need three glasses of water. You'll also need three pieces of metal mesh, which is available from car parts stores for use in mending holes in cars. But you can just shape it into a little basket that goes down into the top of the glass. And into these little baskets, we're going to put a spoonful of your test soils. I've got soils here from a permanent grassland and from two different kinds of arable soils, one of which has had a grass lay in it. So what we'll be looking for here, as we put all three baskets in at the same time, will be evidence of those soil aggregates collapsing. And what that will look like, if they're weak aggregates, is you will see a rain of sediment coming down out of the bottom of the baskets. And that sediment, if the soil aggregates are weak, will be quite thick, it will be quite cloudy. We have our permanent grassland on the right hand side here. And already the rainfall of sediment is beginning to slow and the water is looking relatively clear. For our arable soils, we can see the water is considerably cloudier. This one here, which has had arable with a forage crop in, you can see the water is really quite cloudy. That's probably clay content coming down out of those soil aggregates as they collapse. But we've also got a fair amount of sediment raining down out of this arable soil as well. I think the winner in terms of water clarity and in terms of the least sediment accumulating at the bottom is clearly the grassland soil.